Hello everybody, Rusty Ground here, welcome back to The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine. It's time to solve the problems at Vermentino Vineyard. Vineyard, sorry. <laughs> and uh, for some reason for me it's easier to say Wineyard. I don't know why, but it's Vineyard. Um, so let's see, whoa, okay, here we go again with this crap. Let's do this. Second, one second, cursed, 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 cursed. Need to be careful of those exploding ones. Where are you? Not good. That's not good. Definitely. Okay. Hit me. Okay, is that it? No, it's not it. Is it? I think it is. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So, we know that someone is trying to sabotage both of these uh, vineyards. We need to find out who. Mm -hmm. A letter and a key in a place like this? That would be interesting. Yeah. So, another letter on an elegant stationery. Read these words carefully, for I will not tolerate any blunders. Report to the agreed-upon location tomorrow and collect the next delivery of seedlings. We must intensify our efforts to infest Vermentino. Be at the pains uh, to arrive on time, for the team from the other vineyard will be <laughs> waiting. See, P.S. Do not forget the key. Okay, so... Interesting. This note plus what I found earlier? Yep. Some of the parties causing problems at the vineyards. Yep. Need to find the spot the letter mentions. Yeah. Then I'll find something mighty interesting behind whatever door this key Definitely. opens. Definitely. Mm, looks like an Arcaspore killed him. Okay. Um. So we will need to find out what is behind these um, these infestations. And who is behind this sabotage? Um, whoa! Find the what? Whoa! Uh, wine wars the Deus in the Machina. Wait a second! I don't want to do that. Uh, the Deus in the Machina. From the start, both Matilda and Liam insisted the problems at their vineyards had not appeared out of the thin air. Naturally, they accused one another of foul play. Geralt suspected there was more to the matter, and yet again, his intuition proved true. While solving the problems at the vineyards, he had happened on some notes. These suggested someone had intentionally planted arch spores amidst the wines. Uh, sorry, the vines, uh, at both estates. The Witcher had also found a key to the shelter where saplings of the beastly plants had been stored. Oh, okay, 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 okay. But I want to solve the problems at Vermentino as well, not just... Yeah, because I'm just thinking that if whoever, uh, whoever I solve the problems for, they will be able to buy... Uh, that third vineyard so i want them i want to give them equal chance to do so um oh here we go boom 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 nice let's uh let's go to towards our next location then and we we also have some uh some other marked places there so we can we can check them out as well so let's go Is this the right direction here? Because I'm just a little bit... It is, because we can go like this. Perfecto. Okay, let's just go. I 
think I'm going... Uh, yep, that's it. Perfect. Let's see what else awaits us here. What is this now? Just wonderful. Oh, wolves. Easy, boys. That's it, right? What the hell is going on here? Big feet to fill the third group. What? Smashed bones. Damn, it was strong. Investigate the tracks around the wagons. Whoa, wait a second. Okay, then. What the hell? Damn. Ripped to shreds. Is this like is this gonna be like a giant or something? Big feet to fill? Deep prints. Blood. Just trying to get away. Okay. Damn it. Whoa. What the hell was this? This was a Spriggan, uh, Spriggan, Spriggan. Cursed one, cursed one, is it? Cursed. Upgrades, oh, cursed ones, cursed ones. No, what the f Relics? Mission, Shilmard, yeah, yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. So, Relic Oil and Igni. Cursed Oil. Which one was the cursed oil then again? Relict cursed oil. Cursed oil? Relict oil. Relict oil. My bad. Relict oil. Jesus. Relict oil. Boom. Where is he? Whoa! He's like a... He's like a Leshen. Whoa! You will die now, my friend, because my blades... Yep. Something behind these roots. What do we have here? Come out. I'm not gonna hurt you. What is this? Thank you, sir. Which Whoa. Let Piotta keep you in his care. One day later. Okay, so for some reason, my game crashed uh, right after that cinematic. So, we're here now. Um, where, where is here exactly? Here is... Oh, we're... Okay, so we're quite close to... Good, 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 good. Um, okay, so I don't know why, why my game crashed, but uh, let's continue here with uh, Vermentino. Um and uh, then be on our way. So, let's see now. There's something going on here with some rot fiends. Hello there, rot fiends. Uh, necrophages. Yep. 
these rod fiends look uh, different than the ones that we've fought before. Shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. These rod fiends definitely look different. Okay. Nope. This is locked, so... Augustine Tonnelier's journal. Chest, uh, key to chest in sunflower fields. Key to chest in sunflower fields. Okay, one second. So, the journal here. Thick journal written in a steady hand. The last pages, however, contain different handwriting full of blots and crossed out words. A mysterious gentleman has come to me asking whether I would agree to sell him the stock of barrels we are preparing for the new wine variety. I refused him curtly, for I know how much the new wine means to Miss Matilda and how much depends on this wine's success. Um, after all, things have been very tight at the vineyard these last days. This extremely mysterious gentleman has turned out to be equally extremely wealthy. He came to me again with a very hefty pouch. Bomb blast it. It will be very hard to refuse him if he puts me to that trial again. Today I forgot to lock the gates to the barrel stockhouse. I'm very ashamed, but what could I do? Miss Matilda is crushed. I won't touch that coin until all has settled down. I've hidden a sack stuffed with Nilfgaardian florins in the sunflower fields. I would not want someone to find such a fortune in my home. He has paid me He has paid me another visit. This time he wanted me to procure him the recipe for the new wine. I do have some honor. Barrels are one thing. I can make new ones, perhaps even better ones. But the recipe for the wine? I said I'd sooner die. And then he gave me his this strange look, sent shivers down my spine. I think I'd best barricade my doors this night. Okay. Don't take candy from a stranger. That is... That is true. Don't take candy from a stranger, kids. Where is this thing? In the sunflower... Whoa! Oh, I see. Okay. Roach. Let's uh, let's look for a chest in. The fuck is going on? Come on. Let's look for some. Um, for a chest in the sunflower fields, apparently. Here? Really? 89 florins? That's... okay. Okay. Continue onwards here then. Now, the next problem is... Whoa, okay. It's gonna take us places. Um, I'm actually thinking one, two, three. I'm actually thinking we go here to be honest and on our way there go go we try to solve some other stuff uh, <laughs> we just try something here like this easy does it easy does it roach Come 
Another hidden treasure. Something's not right. Whoa. Where the heck is this hidden treasure? It's right here, okay. Alistair Karn Vaughn's journal. Let's have a read here. 26th 6th of July. Unsure where to start a dig? Ask the nearest old washwoman or old men whittling by the road. They know everything. Yes, yes, I know it takes a great deal of patience and you have to separate the wheat from the chaff, but it's the best way to learn about local legends. That's how we came to find Fox Hollow, where they say the soil sprouts clay pots. 28th of July, we dug up a part of the vineyard on the outskirts of Fox Hollow, but what we found there, those were not pots, those were elven funeral urns. It seems the village is built atop an ancient and shade necropolis. That cemetery dates by my reckoning to the time before the first landing, so the graves might be, might be full of valuables. The ancient elves buried their dead along with the great wealth. We've already dug up a few choice baubles. Uh, but I'm sure if we look deeper, we will find much more. 12th of August. Today we started a new dig in a new location. Matthias spied a beautifully ornamented cameo in the ground, and when we tried to grab it, he discovered it was clenched in the hands of a skeleton. Anselm started to mock him, but quickly lost his desi all desire to laugh. The valley was full of elven skeletons, men, women, even children. The bodies were all mixed, with limbs lopped off, many heads missing, and children with crushed rib cages. What happened here? 14th of August. Another sleepless night. Blood cries, wails. I awake drenched in sweat, then I doze off for a moment, and the same happens again. I told my fellows to dig a deep hole... We'll throw that cursed cameo inside. It belongs to the ground with the rest of the dead. 16th of August. Matthias, or Matthias, disappeared during the night. No one saw him leave camp. His things are all in place. Anselm says we should follow his example and flee while we still live. But I, I cannot leave it like this. This valley is full of bones. Anselm screamed in my face, called me a madman, but I must tell someone what I found here. They say there is a group of archaeologists from Castle uh, Gropian at the Terms ruins. Rest is covered in blood. Whoa. The curse of Karn... Karnvon. Whoa. Tone, 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 tone. Okay, this is where we need to be. But we can actually go here to find the treasure in the treasure's camp. Well, I don't necessarily want to find the treasure. I want to find out what happened here. It should be interesting. So, Roach. Where are you, Roach? Here you go. Let's get back on the horse. And let's ride. Took easy, easy, and here we go. Whoa! One second, cursed oil. I don't have my cursed oil. Do I?
pretty nice, right? Am I right? Go in a whirlwind frenzy and just do that. Okay, so they were level um, they were level 46. That that's why they were hitting quite quite hard. And what do we have here? Diagram and then a bunch of lovely stuff for us. Cool. Come on, come on, Geralt, stop playing with fire there. Okay. Okay, though. Okie dokie. Well, that was a, a little detour that we made, and uh, we are going to continue here with Vermentino. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. Um, Roach? Buddy? Are you okay? Okay, so doo -doo 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 -doo. we have something over here, but we will. Um, we have also something over here, so let's see. Garden renovations at Corvo Bianco are done. Oh, that is great. So that means that we can go back home That's and continue approach. once we finish here. Let's see, what do we have here? Fox Hollow. Oh, Fox Hollow. Okay, 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 okay. Really? Oh, shh. Whoa, 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 easy does it, easy does it. Let me just put on some... Hanged Man's Venom. That, that guy is going to die, right? Come on, die already. That's it. Oh, crap. I hate the freaking archers. Whoa. Easy does it. Easy does it, boyo. That's actually quite a lot of bandits. Shit. Easy. Shit, not the right one. Okay, these two are down. Now, then the last one. Not with Art, with Axie. I need Axie, not Art. That's it. Okay. Okay. So, um... Is this where I'm gonna find the, uh... The wanted man? think so. Is it not, or? Not sure. Let's see. Mm, there's... What now, you piece of filth? What? What? Oh, there's more incoming. Is this it? Or is there going to be more of these guys? I think there's going to be more of these guys, right? Yep, definitely. There are two more in here. Oh, 
All right, nice one. Okay, whew. So we we didn't find the the wanted the wanted guy. But we did manage to repopulate this particular area. And there is a um, innkeeper as well in here. I like that. Oh yeah, I really like that. I really like that. Okay, we'll come back here. We have... Um, we have other problems to solve right now. So we were just passing through here. Can I just put my sword here? Uh, okay. Let's go. Let's be on our way. Sorry about that. What the hell? Where, where am I supposed to go now? Whoa! Easy does it, Roach. Easy does it. Lynx Crag. Okay. And... What a day. What the hell? Persons in distress? Yeah, buddy. Here we go again. Get over here, boys. Boom. May your blouse fuse. Awesome. Oh, yeah. These finishing moves, I really like them. Now, who are you? I owe you my life, unknown knight. How are you dubbed? Dubbed Geralt. Geralt of Rivia. My thanks, Sir Geralt. The Scully works thought to demolish our herb garden, you see. I thought I shall take a hum, scare the rubble off, but to my great chagrin, there were too many and I, I failed. Don't worry about it, you didn't fail. Uh, there's no use crying over spilt wine. Come with me to Vormentino. I'll patch up your armor or pound the anvil to fulfill some other need you might have. Um, no, I don't want to do that. I have some other stuff to... Go ahead. I'll stop by when I'm in the area. Cool. So he is the armorer. Okay, gotcha. This is locked. Okay. Right. So we have two more locations that we need to visit. One is over here, and the other one is over here. So, and we also have these two things here. So let's go. Right? Why waste time? Um, I'm just going to grab Roach real quickly. That's it, Roach. Those are wargs. Yeah, let's let's just get out of here. Easy. A guarded treasure, and it's guarded by a rock troll. Okay, a rock troll. Rock trolls again. I forget what they are, but they are ogroids, right? Do do do. Ogroids. Yes, they are. So, ogroid oil is needed. 
What's the durability? 61 and 82. Can I just repair my sword really quickly? One second. Like so. 100% now. Whoa, armor is very bad also, apparently. Okay, the chest armor at least. The rest seems to be... Okay. Oh shit, I don't need all of you here attacking me, to be honest. God damn it. Come on. Whoa. Okay. I have enough trouble with one troll. I don't need the whole freaking pack to attack me. Whoa. Oh, he's dead, right? Already. What is this here? Rag scrap with writing on it. Woo! Notes written in blood on a scrap of fabric. On this scrap, rent from my own garment, using my own blood and a fragment of mo bone from some unknown creature, I write a summary of my sad tale, for I shall surely perish forthwith. Perhaps one day a bard shall happen upon it and compose from it a ballad to squeeze tears from the mis most pitiless m mis miser. Some time ago, I spied a monster roaming in proximity of, to my estate. Upon further investigation, I learned it was a she-troll, descended from the Gorgon foothills. I thus scraped together a few crowns and went to the Camerlingo to request he hire a knight errant to slay the monstrosity. Yet, as I was making this journey, said she-troll sprang out of the bushes, knelt down by my horse and professed something in the grabbled speech of trolls that I took to mean she had chosen me as her bow. What the hell? Since it is most ill-bred to be rude to a lady, uh, even a monstrous one, I declined her politely and was ready to be on my way when she tossed a sack over me, tucked me under her arm and carried me here to this clearing. She locked me in a cage and stared at me for hours, sending creeping shivers down my spine. So now I slowly starve to death, for while she gives me clear water to drink, my only food is the soup that she troll spends all day brewing, a foul concoction reeking of carrion and onion. I would rather perish than put that slurry onto my lips. Oh my god. Ouch. Yeah, that's... that's bad. I feel for you, man. That's so unfortunate. So unfortunate. Okay. Well, where are we going exactly? We're going this way. Well, we can also have a look here really Faster. quickly, right? Or wrong. Well, if Roach would want to, like, we could, but... Yeah. Bandit camp. Here we go. It's a pretty big. Easy does it, boys. Easy does it. Whoa. Pam pam easy. That's one. Damn, son. Savage. What are you guys hiding here? Anything... Anything good? Is 
some wine. At least you got some wine, right? Is that... One second. There we go. Come on. There must be something else in here. Yeah, there we go. Codex of Loth Half-Breeds. Ooh, hands. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. What is this here? Were chained dogs in russet rags forced to stare into the manners of the rich and rot with jealousy. We toil in their fields for a few pathetic crowns. We've not even got a great war, no great tragedies. Our great war is fought against ourselves. Our great tragedy is our banal existence. Our elders raised us to believe one day we will throw off our weighty burden, but that shall never happen. Slowly, we have come to realize this, and that has us rip-roaring with rage. Lot's hands gives those who join something in return. It shows them that without pain, without sacrifice, and hands would, the hands would uh, achieve nothing that by joining his ranks they will get what they have always desired but to grasp this they must be ready to fight for their lives because when you come here for the first time you must fight I have a feeling we're, we're going to find this guy um, and hopefully like kill him Ooh, orders on a bloody paper. Here we go. Carlo, sending you another batch of hayseeds with big dreams of banditry. Train them well as only you can and send me the tough ones. Drown the others in the pond. Loth. Whoa. Okay, what uh, the hell? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just get rid of these things. That's it. Okay. There we go. Definitely more uh, valuable than the shitty weapons that we had uh, in our inventory. Okay, Roach. Come on, Roach. Let's go. A lot of stuff to do in here, a lot of stuff, and you get, like, you know, you're going on one mission, let's say, and then you just get sidetracked by all these things, which is amazing. It's it's great, honestly. Abandon sight again. Let's go. Come on, shoot something at me. There we go. Right. Another abandoned site. Nice. Another abandoned site that will no longer be abandoned. I, I, I have to say I really, really like this whole animation thing. Um, and of course, Geralt's face is super detailed. Um, I really like, I really like that. Okay. Ouch. What the hell? Whoa, what the hell did I just find here? Ladislas, they've robbed the barrels from our storehouse. We must prepare a new batch and quickly, efficiently. Read your instructions carefully. Chop down eight chestnuts. Prepare planks for them as quickly as you can. Then send the planks to be lied. Um... When, then find 12 ac acacias, chop them down and remove the bark. We'll apply finish 
to the chestnuts as soon as they're back from leeching. Uh, don't let any lads go out to work alone. Send them out in twos or at the least, sorry. I've heard those voracious yellow plants are liable to sprout up anywhere. They are a true bane, so be careful. Augustine Cooper. Hmm. Come evening, I'm off to the hell, quick as a flood. Those girls can't wait to see me. Okay, anything else around here? Is it over then? Thank you, witch. Okay, okay. We should be off to our last site that we uh, need to investigate. Can I get out of here? No, I can't. so fast, Roach. Let me just let me just do this because it seems you're stuck in there. Uh, is that side far? Oh yeah, the other side is quite far, isn't it? Yeah, it's on the other side here. So, Oof. okay. Mm. Let's see. I can do this from here, right? Come on, Roach. Let's go. Let's go. This is No, I don't want to go here. I want to go here first, actually, to be honest. We'll get there as well, but not yet. What's going on here? You calling? Wanted to talk? I did, for we're neck deep in trouble, of the spider kind. Okay. Need a maid with a broom, not a witcher. You fail to understand. These are huge, the size of pigs or dogs. Oh great! Black and hairy, spewing webs. Oh, amazing. Mm -hmm. Just not the kind I like. About spiders, then. Talking about arachnomorphs. Call them what you will. You must smash the rogues, will you? Those caves would be prime barrel storage were it not for the beasts. Okay, okay. It'll cost you, though. First things first. Need to talk about my reward. Mm, let's go for 175 here. Not far now. We find ourselves a hair from agreeing. A hair from agreeing, which means 170. Not far now. Jesus. We find ourselves a hair from agreeing. Okay, 165 then. I knew we Perfect. would agree terms. Okay. Cool. Let's go. Arachnomorphs don't look much like bunnies, but they sure breed like them. Best nip the problem in the bud. I'll look into it. Okay, so let me just do this here. Uh, Arachnomorphs, that means. Uh, where is it? This one. Boom. And let's go. What is this now? Knight Errant's Saddle. What? Knight Errant's Saddle? Huh. Okay. It's not better than ours. Uh, let me just do something else here. Cat potion is right here. So let's do that and let's go. Here we go. First one. Okay. Okay, this was the first, the first one. A bunch of stuff in here, actually. Um, why didn't it? What the hell? Oh, I didn't track the. Okay, so it's clearly. Uh, okay, here we go. There's more in there by the looks of it. 
Come on. Are you gonna get in here or not? They're not gonna get in here. Oh, okay, so I need to go in there. Um, okay. Uh, can I actually just have... Because th th there's gonna be more than one. I might have some problems here. So let's just do this and get in here. Whoa. Shit. That's it. Easy. Shit, 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 shit. Not good, not good. Come on. Whoa. You're dead. You're dead. Now I need to finish the other small one. Okay, before taking on this one. That's it. That is it, boys. Okay, whew. Okay. The small ones are annoying because um, they uh, trap you with the web. And then the big one just comes in for the finishing blow. And there, it's very easy to get outnumbered. And also killed, of course. So, yeah. I think it's just dodge, dodge, dodge and hit whatever you can, you know, as much as possible and, and as fast as possible. Um, is there anything else around here? No, it doesn't look like it. I think this is... what? No. I think this is the way... This is, yeah, where we killed this one. Okay, so there's two ways in here. Alright, alright. So, we're done with this one. Let's put our sword back. And, um... Let's go finish this, my Any friend. Any tidings? Any tidings? Taken care of. I did, one yeah. Cleaned up. Thank the gods! And you too, of course. Wine trade. Been at it for a while? Not terribly long, to be candid. I apprenticed to be an alchemist, but proportions were never my strong suit. So I took to trading in wines. More pleasant, I must say. One drinks on the job, and no one ever complains. <laughs> Makes sense. And the world's always a bit more bearable on a buzz. Sure is. Um, what are you selling? Was looking to buy something. Maybe sell something, too. You... Mm. Restoration. Potion of clearance. Returns all ability points. Okay, and this one returns all... Same thing. Okay. What do we have here? Mutagen trend. Oh, this guy sells a lot of uh, a lot of stuff by the looks of it. He doesn't really have a lot of money though, but uh, we'll keep him in mind. Time I got back on the path. Because we're getting so sidetracked a little bit too much for my liking here. So I just want to get um, to get done with this um, with the quest here with the coronat not coronata vermentino. That's what I want to do. And the last location for Vermentino is actually quite a quite um quite a walk away. Um, damn it, I cannot see anything with this cat potion on. Let me just do this, and that's it. Perfect. There we go. Okay, Roach, come on, let's go. Last location for Vermentino is waiting for us. We have uh, we have derailed enough in our in our journey let's just do this okay And 
wasn't it? Thought it was. Oh yeah, there it is. Here we go. Du, 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 du. One second, one second. Where the heck is it? It's right here. Let's go. More plants to kill. Okay, that's one. Oh, and that's it. That was just it was just one. Okay. Another location that uh, we repopulated a man here. Who dare not down some red is a man whose wife's like to thump his head. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now we just have to find that location. Um, that whoa, that location is quite far away, Jeepers. Wine Wars the Deus in the Machina. Wow, okay. Um, it's gonna be a pretty long, uh, pretty long walk to the, that, that particular location. So, I'm going to stop this episode here for now. Wait a second, wait a second. Whoa, what, what is this now? What is this here? What? My darling Melanie, I write you this letter while lapping up the last rays of the sun, which is just now hiding behind the horrendous crest of Mount Gorgon. It shall not be a long letter for two reasons. The first, I will soon, it will soon be too dark to write. And the second, I have important duties to attend to. Miss Matilda has ordered me to see to the security of the newly built vineyard, vineyard on Pavona Slope and to see to it attentively for ill business is afoot of late at our Vermentino when, it, when not bandits, it's these yellow monstrous par parasites. I'll spend some time here withering with longing for you my darling like a vine pining for the touch of life giving light yours forever laurent oh that's that's sad okay so yeah uh, this episode has gone on quite uh, long so i'm going to cut this one here and we'll continue in the next one i do want to see who is behind this sabotage um, and i don't want to talk to any of the um, like um, of the two that uh, have given me quests uh, i just want to go to the place mentioned in the letter and see what the hell is going on with that and then we'll take it from there so we're gonna, I'm gonna cut this episode here for now, uh, and we'll continue in the next one. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Thank you very, very much for all your support. Um, I'm, I'm very happy that uh, Blood and Wine so far has been quite successful, let's say. I see a lot of you guys really, really enjoyed the, the, uh, this particular expansion. And uh, thank you very much again for all your support, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.